What's going on guys this is me Mehdi Shakil and guys in this video I am gonna show you how you can easily set up Ubuntu server into virtual machine and for this I am gonna use the virtual box so without talking too much let's get started so guys now you can see my computer screen so first of all you need to download and install virtual box on your computer so guys first of all open up your favorite browser and search on google virtual box then go to this first website virtualbox.org and from here download the virtual box for your computer this virtual box is available for windows linux and also for mac os you can download according to your operating system then again go to google.com and now search for ubuntu server then go to this first website ubuntu.com then you have to click on this manual server installation option and from here download this ubuntu server 20.04.3 lts version click here and it will start downloading i had already downloaded so i'm not gonna download this again okay now let me show you how you can set up this ubuntu server into virtual box so first of all install the virtual box on your computer and open it up I have already installed VirtualBox in my computer because I am using couple of virtual machines. Now from here click on new and name it as Ubuntu server or whatever you want. Then from the type select Linux and for the version Ubuntu 64 bit. Then click on next. Now give a RAM size for your VirtualBox. I am gonna give here. 2 GB then click on next then make sure to create a virtual hard disk now and click on create and from here select virtual disk image and click on next select any of these two then again next now here you need to give a disk size for your Ubuntu server virtual machine I am gonna give here 15 GB then click on create now after that click on start now it will open up the virtual machine now click on this icon then click on add and select your ubuntu server iso file then click on open and click on choose then click on start and it will install the ubuntu server from the iso file it's gonna take some time so you have to wait okay guys after some time you will get this screen and from here select your language using the arrow key and press enter and if you want to update the installer during the installation you can select the update to a new installer or just select continue without updating then hit enter then select done and from here you can easily set up the IP address for your virtual Ubuntu server you can set up IP address manually from here or you can use the DHCP like me then again come to done and press enter i'm not going to use any type of proxy so again press enter and mirror address is okay for me then done and now here select use entire disk remember if you are using the virtual machine select the entire disk but whenever you are going to install this server on a real server machine or real pc you have to configure RAID to use multiple storage into a server as i'm installing it in a virtual machine so i'm going to select use an entire disk then i'm going to select done and press enter then done just select continue and enter now here you need to create an account for your ubuntu server type your name here then type your server name then pk username and a password then again come to done and press enter now if you want to install the open ssh and want to ssh into a server press the space key then come to done and press enter we are not going to set up any of these packages now so come down click on done and press enter now it will start installing the ubuntu server into your virtual machine i am going to fast forward this portion of this video to save your time ok guys now you can see the ubuntu server installation has been completed now press enter to close it then select reboot now 
and press enter and it will reboot your Ubuntu server. Here you can see it's rebooting. It will complete all the essential process during this reboot and here you get the login from. Let's log in to our server using the username whatever you give during the installation. In my case the username is Mehdi Shakil and the password OK. So guys now you can see we have successfully logged in into our Ubuntu server. Now let's install some basic tools whatever we need into this server like the net tools. So simply type here sudo app install net tools. Then type your server password and it will start installing the essential net tools. Now if I type here if config you will see the IP address of your virtual server. In my case it's 10.0.2.15. Also, we have installed the OpenSSH to get the SSH connection into a server. So for this, on your terminal type sudo service ssh start and it will start the SSH server or the SSH connection. So guys, we have successfully installed Ubuntu server in our virtual machine. Now you can convert this Ubuntu server into a web hosting service, web server, FTP server whatever you want. If you want to learn more about setting up your Ubuntu server into a web service or a web server and set up firewall for your web server then comment down below and I will make another video dedicated to make a Ubuntu web server and also adding the firewall rules into your web server. So guys that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoy this video then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And guys if you are new to this channel then please do subscribe this YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I'm Mehdi Shakil, you're watching Aztec Tutorial and I'm signing out.